lists are at the heart of ClickUp's organization and are where all of your tasks live. To create a new list, just click on the plus sign in your left sidebar. By default, you'll notice that the list will be using the statuses of the parent space, but you can also choose to use new statuses for your list if you prefer. Once you've created your list, you can then start adding tasks. In addition to creating standalone lists, you can group lists underneath a folder. Let's practice creating a new folder so we can get a sense of how this works. I'm going to create a new folder to represent a client I'm managing. I can now add lists to represent the different services I'll be offering to the client. Let's say I work at a digital agency. I can create lists for things like marketing automation, SEO, and any other services that I provide. Click on list info on the right side of any list title to view the list's information. You can record any relevant information about the list you're working on here, including a description with rich editing, and things like checklists and bullet points. You can add attachments and even have a conversation with teammates on the right-hand side. Additionally, you can add things like a start and due date to an entire list, a priority, a list owner, and even a color and label for your list. In a list info section, you'll always see the name of the list bolded at the top of your screen. In a board view, you can also see the name of the parent list for each task, as long as you've gone up to your settings and opted to show breadcrumbs. In a calendar view, you can also choose to show parent list names on each task card by going up to your settings and opting to show location on each task. That's it for lists, but if you have any other questions, just reach out to us at help at